Hey guys, so today I am here talking a little bit more about the Israel trip, which I am going to be talking about for a while because the amazing thing is that even though I was only there with Jared for eight days, I did like five or six actual proper photo shoots and there's going to be something to talk about from each one of them. So today I really want to talk about the amazing photographers that I got to travel with and I was thinking that there was some point along the way that I wanted to be able to do some kind of a portrait shoot with, with everybody, but our schedules were crazy. Um, different people in our trip were constantly running out and doing other things, uh, meaning like other photo shoots. I know like Ben, you know, he was, he like went to Jerusalem and did this amazing photo shoot and Mike had these photo shoots set up and Rebecca had photo shoots set up. So we were constantly traveling together. We were constantly going off on our own. I was going off on my own doing shoots. So I think this shoot kind of happened spontaneously. And uh, let me talk to you about it and how it came about, what I did, what my camera settings were, and um, a little bit of the mentality that went behind it. Okay, so first of all, here we are. There's six of us in Israel we're from all over the place. Other than my, me knowing Jared and knowing Simon a little bit from social media, we didn't really know each other that well as a group. Um, and we're, you know, photographers are lone gunmen. They all have unique personalities. So what better way to showcase a photographer than have them kind of like, you know, jumping or soaring through the air? Because I think that's kind of how we are. You know, we, we kind of fly around in like our own zone. So what better way to showcase photographers than have them soaring through the air? So of course, I knew everybody would be game for this, including myself. And uh, anyway, let, let me go back to actually what happened. So here we are, we're, I think we had a little bit of time between um, whatever we had been doing that day and dinner. And we ended up at the beach in Tel Aviv and there was this really cool jetty and the sky was starting to change colors because it was getting late in the day, early evening. And I started shooting some pictures and all the pictures I was shooting were going into silhouette, which looks really cool because you got like the setting sun and the sunset and silhouetted you know, forms that really provide like a really cool outline. But I thought to myself, you know what, let's actually light this thing. Because why not? I like lighting stuff. That's what I do. So in my bag, I had, um, I think, a, a Nikon SB800, right? And I had a little infrared trigger. So a little infrared trigger basically means that it shoots out an infrared pulse. And if you put your, your uh, flash into slave mode, that little infrared pulse will actually fire your flash. So at the time, all I had on my was my Fuji X100, the SB800, and the little, um, the little infrared trigger. So what I did is I got my camera settings together so that I knew that I was gonna be freezing motion. I knew that I wanted to have my form in silhouette minus the flash. So I got that exposure all dialed in, and then I grabbed my flash, and I essentially just handheld the flash in my left hand, fired the Fuji in my right hand, and I used the, um, the infrared trigger to basically fire that flash. And I had to also make sure to keep my thumb off the little infrared uh, receptacle on the SB800 as to not obstruct it, because as you guys know, infrared is really line of sight based. Now the infrared trigger gives you a little bit stronger of a pulse, so you, it's more forgiving, but if you have your finger over that thing, it ain't gonna work. So that's basically it. Bear SB800 held in my left hand, X100S in my right hand. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give the idea that these photographers were floating in the air. So if you can kind of pull yourself down and imagine what's going on here, there's a jetty under here and the sea is behind the jetty. So what I did is I took an incredibly low camera angle and I, I waited until the decisive moment when my subject was flying through the air and that's when I fired my frame. And obviously fired my flash so that I could get my subject lit. And this is the end result here. Now let's just look at the camera settings here. Um, let me just get out of full frame mode. All right, so we are at one four thousandth of a second at F4 at ISO 200. And that's an amazing thing about the Fuji is that you can fire a flash pretty much all the way up to its maximum shutter speed. And um, this, particular shot here. This is Jared Poland, as you know, the fro, fro knows photo, giving us a really great leap. This is Rebecca Litchfield. Now, I would strongly recommend you check her out. 
Um, she's an amazing photographer. She does these, she's all into urban exploration and she often will go into like a really gritty place and bring in a model and kind of do a juxtaposition of like beauty and decay. Um, you have to check out her stuff. This is me. And you have to check out my stuff because this is me. Um, doing a pretty awesome jumping job and our buddy El Al took this shot. Um, or Al, sorry. El Al was the airline we flew on. Al was the photographer that took this shot for me. This is Mike Kelly. Mike Kelly, um, awesome photographer. He's a uh, an, an, um, sorry, an architectural photographer. Now, the interesting thing is, is that I love architecture. I look at architecture. I appreciate architecture. I don't photograph architecture. So I can say that being around Mike definitely opened my eyes up to kind of what goes into architectural photography because it is a very methodical process. It's not like just setting a camera on a tripod and taking a picture. You have to check out Mike Kelly's stuff. Um, he's, his work is awesome. He's an awesome guy. He also does a lot of stuff on f-stoppers. I'm sure you guys have seen him there. He's got a DVD out, blah, blah, blah. I think he was just in the Bahamas with Peter Hurley teaching workshops. Before that, Iceland. The guy is, is, is a force to be reckoned with. Here we go, Simon Pollock. Simon, awesome, awesome guy. Um, this guy cracked me up the entire tour. Um, always up to having a pint. Not to say that we're big drinkers, but it was nice to have a drinking buddy while we were on, on this trip. Um, Simon is a social media guru, um, does social media for a ton of different brands like Think Tank. He's an amazing photographer in his own right and he kind of downplays that. I mean the stuff that he shot, everything that I've, I've seen of his work was like incredibly awesome. Um, I think he's just a very humble and modest guy and, um, and, but his work is awesome and you have to check his stuff out. Um, I'll give you links to all of these people's work, of course, so that you can start following them on their Facebook and their Instagram, all that kind of stuff. I know I do. I know that I, I found inspiration from any, every one of these photographers. And that's the wonderful thing. It's like as, as, as much as I feel like I can take photos and make good photographs and whatever and deliver, I really look to other photographers for inspiration. And these people really, really help to shape my thinking and to make myself, push myself even further along as a photographer. Here we have Benjamin Von Wong. <laughs> uh, this, guy is, this guy is incredible. I mean, he does amazing stuff. Um, he will do these insanely epic photo shoots that almost, I mean, look, no disrespect, they almost look compositive because they look impossible to achieve and he's doing them, he's shooting them single frame, meaning that he's basically lighting them and arranging them in a way that he's getting that epic look, but he's not doing a composite, which I find to be kind of incredible. And this guy, he flies all over the world and he has people, like um, people that are just followers that meet him all over the place and help assist him to do photo shoots and he's done some incredible things and you guys have to check out his work. I have to say that I'm really inspired by the stuff that he's done because he really puts his heart and soul 110% into everything that he shoots. Um, and that's it. So here we go. Let me get these group of guys or and gal up there. And up, up. this is what I wanted to do. There we are. So that is our group. This was our group of um, photographers. <laughs> you can actually see here how the light changed as um, this progressed because the sun was setting, so the frames got a little bit darker. As far as editing, I didn't really do too much of this. You know, I just kind of punched it up a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, that was kind of that. Let me get out of this right here. I'm just going to escape out of here and go back into my... Uh, sorry, here we go. And this is the entire group. And in the center of our group is our fearless leader, Adi, who helped organize the trip with uh, Kinetis. Uh, amazing job she did, considering that she's not a, photography, not a photographer, didn't have a photography background, and was able to accommodate all of the, um, I would say, interesting personalities that we had on this trip. This was ultimately, I would say, probably our group portrait. And the thing that I think that's really cool about it is the fact that it is in silhouette, that we have that beautiful afternoon sun that's just kind of you know helping to shape the outline we are on that jetty in kind of an epic location and um and that's that so there you go um it's amazing what you can achieve uh results wise with such you know limited amount of gear again i had an icon sb800 
an ancient Nikon flash. I had a cheap $60 infrared trigger. I had my Fuji X100S and was able to achieve those really cool epic shots of all of us jumping into the sky um, as we saw there. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to follow all these folks from the links that I'll be providing and we'll see you soon.